What's up guys? Today we are here going to be working with the Xbox One X here. Um, I don't know why the camera is so blurry. That That is a really blurry camera. Um, but anyway, um, I think the auto zoom is off on this. Unless the camera is dirty. Oh, so is the camera dirty? Cause that is a little bit better. Um, let me find. Let me see if I can find my cleaner thingy really quick, so we can clean that off. I can just. Oh, much better. I mean, it still seems a little. Still seems like it's a little. Um, pixie, but um, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here today is oh, there. Oh, I see what I see what it's doing. It's not auto focusing. Um, there we go. I guess, I guess you'll just see my finger go up in front of it that seems to get the auto focus in but um as you guys can see here we're going to be talking a little bit about the xbox one x but um at the same time we're going to be moving that dresser got my clo clothes in the way i thought i took care <laughs> thought i took care of those um we're gonna take that dresser there and we're going to move it right there which more clothes which I should probably get out of the way so you guys don't see all my clothes okay so a little bit different live stream this is my first live stream and um I wanted to do some kind of some kind of video here that dealt with uh if I can if I know what I want to say here now um that showed you guys kind of how to do a similar setup. But I also want to do talk about the Xbox One X. I just want to get my clothes and stuff out of the way. Because I need to, need to slide that dresser up over there. And we're still... We were still caught up on a thing there. We're just going to slide my clothes up... Up out of the way and then we got some cables that we need to kind of move but that ain't gonna be no problem there we we'll just kind of kick everything out of the way and actually I'm pushing everything right here right here cuz that stuff over there actually needs or that dr dresser is gonna actually go so somewhat up in this corner so it probably didn't make a lot of sense for me to scooch it over that way um now over here just got a bunch of different stuff here but this is my gaming computer which i'll show you guys i'll show you guys that here in a little bit later um i want to go and get this thing over here coax cable on the floor and that actually yeah i'll show i'll show you guys later um it's completely different so i've got a bunch of junk here it's got a bunch of paper which i don't really know what it is, what all the paper is over there so we're not really going to sh show it it's just got a bunch of phone no phone numbers and stuff on it so nothing important for us okay so i'm trying to do this with one hand and those are my curtains that you guys are seeing just an ordinary curtains nothing special to see here so, I know this is kind of an odd, or I would assume a lot of people will think this is an odd video, which it is an odd video. But, but then again, um, whatever, you know, it does, you know, whatever, it doesn't really bother me. Um, but I wanted to make a little video showing you guys how to kind of set everything up. 
just because I was bored, you know, you know, I was bored and everything, so I figured, why not, you know, show you guys, plus I think, you know, showing off all my, di all of my different stuff would kind of give me a better idea of what kind of videos I want to do, I wouldn't mind doing like Let's Plays, but the problem, the pr problem I have with Let's Plays is, um, they're kind of, like, you don't know, like, you buy a new game release, you know, a new game release comes out, you don't know what's in that game. You know, there could be, you know, you could be live streaming one minute, live streaming one minute, and then something, you know, that shouldn't be on, something that shouldn't be on YouTube ends up popping up in a cutscene. Now, you don't want to cut, you don't want to cut out the vi video or anything on your live stream, because of the whole reason is it's a brand new game. You don't even know what's going on. You know, that's kind of, you know, kind of why you're doing your live stream in the, f in the first place. Now, my bed over here is really stuck, as you guys can see. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can get my bed unstuck. I got this plastic on my bed, which... Is when we, which is when we bought my bed. I just left, just left the plastic on there. That way, you know, if I ever spill anything, ever spill anything, you know, we got hardwood floor, hardwood floors. Uh oh, we're uh -oh. we're pushing stuff all over the place. But I'm thinking about doing like a tech sort of video. I think that would be pretty cool. To be able to to be able to play around with. Now my idea here is these this dresser here and that dresser, this dresser and that dresser. They're both the same height, so I figured if they're both the same height, let's scooch them up together so I can. Cause I got my bed in the middle here. Um. Um. I don't really know why why my bed's in the middle, but it is. Um. I just kind of liked it a little bit better, I guess. I guess you could say. Okay, so the pro problem I'm going to have is we're going to have to move all of this junk down there with my clothes. So all of this junk here is going to have to go down there with my pa pants. Dirty dirty clothes because I don't have them in my ha uh, hamper with all of my other clothes. There's Spongebob. I don't know what it is. Those are old SpongeBob pajamas. I just never threw them away because they were. They still fit. And I just wear them around the house. So, you know, no biggie. I don't watch it anymore. I probably would if we had it. But I don't even know what, what you watch SpongeBob on anymore. So, um. So, here, here I'm just putting. Just all of these uh, junk away. Okay. So I put all that junk away. Um, I don't don't really know where I'm gonna put it all. So we're just gonna put it on the floor. What better place? What better place to put your stuff than to put it on the floor? Okay. Okay. So I've got most of the room. I put. PlayStation controllers. That's a PS4 controller and a PS3. PS4 controller, PS3. I don't even have a PS PS3, but I got a controller though. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna kind of have to det determine how we want to kind of set all of this up. So we we're gonna be looking at the we're gonna be looking at the uh, Xbox because that's. That was the main thing I want. The main thing I wanted to show you guys was the um, Xbox. Um, so I've kind of got a couple different things. I don't have an actual internet, as you guys can see. I do not have internet. I have a mobile hotspot, which is extremely fast for downloading compared to internet that I've used to have through DSL, and. Um, the only DSL that I have in my area is Frontier, and that's why I don't have it. I don't have Frontier, but we have AT&T under a con 
under a contract, um, which I don't think is actually any. Ch don't actually think if you go pre prepaid, it's not really any cheaper. Um, that I be believe in than it is just to go with the contract because they can re they can take the money off of your card at off of your card every month. You don't have to go to the bank. You don't have to run the a AT and T or get the money out, make a money money order, or do a check and then send it out. You can t they can take it out automatically, and it's so much easier. I be believe because then that way you don't have to go and pay your bill. I mean you're pa you're paying your bill, but you don't have to go to the bank and run around or try to cash out a check which might take you know a week or so to get a week or so to get there when they take it out of your bank they get it right away so for me it makes more sense now over here this is a cable modem i used to have comcast apparently if you complain too much they'll literally come out and cut your cable so and then you guys know what these are. These are e these are Ethernet cables. These are when I had Frontier Internet. Um, um, one thing that I did like about them is they were less than one less than one meg. You can you can't download anything. So that was my whole purpose of getting a mobile hot mobile hotspot, which actually works out really good. Um, well, actually, I'm using off using it off of my phone right now. But um, I'm planning on getting Frontier back. I know. I think it's been about six months, not quite six, about six months, not quite six months since I've had Frontier. Um, I know they are working on upgrades. They're just taking their sweet time to get, <laughs> sweet time to get it to us. Um, I know maybe 15, 20 miles from, 15 or 20 miles from us. And this was probably about two, two years ago, roughly. They do do some upgrades. I don't know if they offered any higher speeds than what they already had, but we did have a guy through Direct TV, which I do have it. I think this is Direct TV Mini or Direct TV Mini box box or whatever, and then the main one's out in our live living room. I do got that. I think it's buried down there somewhere. I can go off and show you that. Since this is gonna be kind of clean it clean in my room and kind of showing you guys kind of a, a similar setup that you guys might want to do for you guys um and then kind of talking about different internet companies i don't know like i said i wanted to kind of make like a tech tech video but we are going to talk about the xbox um but this was a comcast well it wasn't a comcast it was kind of autofocus autofocus there you go um i don't know why it doesn't like the autofocus there but um What I've noticed is we're just gonna get rid of the get rid of this guy altogether. But this, oh Motorola, it was a Motorola uh, thing, I believe. And the reason I did the reason I did that is because it made my uh, it made my uh, internet so much internet so much cheaper. Or well, you didn't have to pay the fifteen dollars that comcast wants you to spend i don't know why comcast make makes you lease everything out um they're i'll have i'll have to say they're pretty good at doing that um just any, anything to make money from customers i think that was probably about a 60 to 80 dollar 60 to 80 dollar box which is kind of expensive but kind of expensive and it didn't even have wi-fi that box, that box did not even have Wi-Fi, so that was kind of a disappointment there. But that's what's good about Ethernet cables. Um, unless you have a device that doesn't have wireless, then you might be in trouble. And even though that was like eighty bucks, it had one either one Ethernet port. So if you had multiple multiple devices, you were kind of in trouble. Or if you had a phone or ta phone or tablet that doesn't have either. Ethernet ports, you were kind of messed up there because the devi device didn't have didn't have uh, wireless in the first place. So for eight eighty dollars, that was a lot for like a Motorola, Motorola or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my phone down here for a minute, so you guys ain't gonna be able to see anything. Um. So what I'm going to do 
is my gaming computer. I'm going to put my phone down so I can put my gaming computer up here. So you guys aren't going to see anything. So that way I can use both both of my hands to um, pick this computer up. It's kind of a heavy computer. Okay. Well, I got it up. So, um, this, this is my gaming computer, which we're going to go push back here really quick. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't exactly work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push this down. We're going to push this dre dresser down. So that way, we can push this dresser that way, and then we'll go ahead and show you guys everything. And then I'll show you guys kind of how to, kind of, how to set everything up. Um, I think I'm going to put my phone back down again. So, I'm going to put my phone back, back down there for a minute. Um, my dresser seemed to stop. Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay. I'll put my phone back up. Come up over here. And I think when I originally make these videos, I'll just I'll record them and then I'll upload them. That way you guys can get the full 1080p without no buffers or anything. Get the full 1080p without any buffers or anything. I'll record record every everything and then you know kind of kind of upload everything afterwards. Just, just so that way everything is kind of pre preloaded, I guess you could say. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move all this this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this computer this way. So we're gonna take the computer and slide it that way. And I do plan on getting an actual internet company here pretty pretty soon. I hope if. At least that's my plan. Um, but the only people we have in our area, in our area, is um, Frontier. So I'll probably end up, probably end up getting stuck back with them again. But okay, so that's the inside of my computer. It's kind of dusty. Kind of dusty. So we'll have to really do some cleaning but um anyway so my thing here with the xbox though my thing here with the xbox here is um i think it's with the mobile hot with the mobile hotspot which is one of my main which is one of my main reasons i want to get just normal internet because I don't think Xbox, I don't think Xbox likes my, um, oh, if I can think of what, think of what the name of it is. It doesn't like my, um, mobile hotspot, I don't think. Probably because you can't open up ports or anything. And when you can't open up ports, that tends to create up a problem. But as you guys can see now. I got so much more room here. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to. We'll probably have to pick the. Probably pick this up and then we'll slide this over. Um, but there is a gap here. Which I want to try and get this to auto focus. Auto focus. There you go. But this Xbox we may end up selling. I haven't quite determined if we're gonna sell it. I haven't determined if I'm gonna sell yet. I think I am, just because I do like gaming, gaming on a computer more. Well, actually, well, actually, I wouldn't say I like gaming on a computer more as it is to everything. Everything just looks so much better on a, on a computer, um, than it does with anything else. So that's one of my main concerns. Um, right now, 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my phone back down. Um, what we're going to do is switch these two things around. Um, because originally, originally when I get an actual, um, when I get an actual, um, if gaming consoles become a little bit more advanced, um, if gaming consoles become a little bit more advanced, I might start getting back into it, but because I do like using the controller, the controllers are a good option for a lot of people that don't like, um, keyboards or anything um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this tv here we're gonna take this tv put it over here that way it's in the mi middle with my thing and then what we're gonna do is take the xbox and we're gonna take the xbox so i'm gonna arrange this stuff really quick and then we'll bring the com or the um uh, gaming um uh, thing back up here Okay, so what I'm going to do is try and slide the, this TV over to the right here. Okay. So we're just going to unplug the Xbox um, because there's kind of too, too many cables kind of in the way. So what I'm going to do is just switch these cables around here. Alright. So I might get rid of the Xbox. I might not. I really... Might get rid of it. I might not get rid of it. I'm not too for sure what I'm doing right, doing right now with everything. But um, I'm trying to do that so I can upgrade, um, upgrade some stuff. So as you guys can see, it does kind of block my fans, but don't worry about don't worry about that. I do have a plan. I do have a plan to kind of kind of auto correct that but my thing here is with the xbox or at least with this x xbox one x here all the vents are in the back which is re really nice that all the vents and everything are in the back but when we look over here we kind of have like a similar issue where my tv and stuff is kind of my TV and stuff is this kind of blocking the thing, and this is all the way back, but it is in the middle of my in the middle where my bed and stuff is, so that's kind of a good thing. It's kind of what I was kind of going for. This is here to kind of protect my here to kind of protect my dresser, but it's all also nice because this thing always key, keyboard would always always end up sliding and that was kind of annoying this here i'm gonna clear all of this stuff up here we're gonna put the controllers controllers kind of up over there or whatnot this stuff here this is from direct tv direct tv and stuff which is what that coax cable coax cable up over there was for but um but um, unfortunately, I didn't really get all of that part sent up because um, because um, 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 um <laughs> I think that's all I know how to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I know how to say. Okay, anyway, let's just trying to get some of this stuff untangled. So we're gonna just sit. Just gonna set that stuff there. I'm gonna have to put my phone back down again so that way I can lift this up and stick it stick it up over there. And I actually kinda do like it over there. So I'm gonna set my phone back down so I can so I can pull this cable stuff. Um oh, I gotta get back into the thing. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly why it pulled it up that way, but, but I'm gonna put my phone down so that way I can somewhatly, somewhatly lift up my computer here. Okay. Okay, so oh, let's adjust that a little bit. It kind of slid up. Okay. Close enough for now. It's kind of, kind of hanging a little over, but that's that's fine for now. And it actually does look like I can actually slide it back, but it's actually black. It's blocking my um my light switch. So I'm gonna actually do. We're gonna actually do. Let's just pull it up. Just a little bit so, you know, if you want to turn your light switch on or off. It's no biggie because it's either on or off normally anyway. So, no no biggie there. Um, this is kind of a little off. Right, It's a little off right up in this area. I guess that wasn't too hard to fix. But it's good enough for now. Um, I'm going to put my, put my either neck cable. Because everything needs a really good... Everything needs a really good dusting. So, this over here is going to get dusted. This will all get dusted. Now, this is all vents through this whole thing, so it all, ne so it all needs to be clean. Um, um, and then, as you guys can see, bl black gets dirty, so it's kind of hard to keep up with. Um, so, that computer all needs to be cl cleaned up. All of the, all of this, all needs to be cleaned up. I might end up keeping my Xbox though. Like I said, get, like I said, guys, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. If I do keep it, you know, you know, then I keep it. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and sell it for five thirty. I've already had somebody saying that they, the most they would give me was five, was five thirty, because that's kinda what I was at kind of what I was asking for it because it does have a 12 month thing which I was willing willing to kind of just throw that in for free I was trying to get the extra 60 out of the 12 months but you know if I can get a full 5 530 you know then you know that would be great because then I'll go out and buy me a brand new Xbox I'll put the money in the, for a couple months put the money in the bank or whatnot for a couple months and then um you know I'll go out and buy me a new one you know if they come out get the external hard drives and stuff because this other person they just want they just want one and i don't think they real i don't think they realized how realize how much they actually are at walmart that they're only 530 530 dollars you know you got your tax your tax and everything so you know i'm thinking hey if this guy get this guy gives me 530 bucks i can go out and buy me a brand new one so you know if there was something wrong with it or anything like something wrong with it or anything um you know i'm making my money right back off of it as far as the con as far as consoles and i only got two games which apparently if you take on the gamestop gta does not go for very much money anymore like i i remember where you could take your gta game and get thirty dollars get thirty dollars out of it now it seems like you, you can't get that. It goes for like thir ten to ten to thirteen dollars anymore. So you can't get you can't get very much money out of GTA. Like like I said, I remember where you could get uh, GTA Five for like thirty bucks. Now you're lucky to get ten to thirteen dollars out of it. And the odd thing is, is GTA can go for sixty dollars, um, dep depending on where you go and get it. You can make GT or GTA, like I said, like I said, can go all the way up to um, sixty dollars, um, which is a lot. Now here, you see, you can see here, it just it lines up right with this, which I don't know if I really like like that or not, but um, I do got a kind of a gap here now. How what I did. What I did is it just kind of pulled it down here like this. I mean, there's enough room. I mean, if you guys look at it. 
you can you can kind of see it moving. It's not it's not moving very much, but you guys can see kind of that it moves. Um. So again, the ventilation on this is mostly at the very bottom on the back, the whole bottom part here on the back. So it's not bad. And then if you take your fan, take your fan, you could just turn turn the fan fan on low, push it up this way, and then you know any heat that blows up in the back, or even get a smaller fan. And, um, so what I like to see is we can't really move it that, we can't really move it that way. And that was the whole purpose of bringing this over is I was, ho I was hoping I was going to have a little bit more room here because I really don't like it. See, it's actually sitting on it now. See, it was actually sitting on it, which... I don't think it's going to do anything, but I don't want, really don't want it to bend anything. Um, but we're kind of out of room here. Like, like we, we are literally like kind of out of room. Cause you can see this is not even even it needs to come out the needs to come out this way i'm really really picky about that kind of stuff um not too for sure too for sure why but you can see what it really what it really needs to do oh actually actually i'm gonna put my phone Put my phone back down there. The there we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of where the TV TV T yeah TV needs to be. So I guess what we're gonna have to do is this hangs off, which I real which I really don't like that it hangs off like that. Um. So what we're gonna have to do, cause the, what what's happening what's happening here is this TV needs to be like TV needs to be so, somewhat like that, and what it's happening is it's hit, it's hitting up on this back piece here, which we could sit it on the top on the top, but then again I don't want I don't want to start bending stuff. We re we really don't want to start bending stuff or or anything like that. So what we're gonna what we're gonna have to do is take let's take uh, this table that we this table that we originally had, and I think. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this stuff out here like this. I'm gonna take all of this stuff out, pull all of this out like this or or whatnot. And hopefully we hopefully I can squeeze this in here. I'm lit like literally squeezing everything all together. We're hitting up on this extension cord. I think that extension cord was what we were hitting up on. Come on. Wow. Wow. You guys can see right corner to corner. I mean, I can stick my fingers a little bit in there, as you guys can see. I mean, I can put more finger on this space, but just barely fit, barely fits in there. Okay. So my whole thing here is if we can get enough stuff stacked up, enough stuff of some sort stacked up over there, my plan, plan here is we can sit the Xbox, we can sit the Xbox somewhere around this area, but we'll have a hang here by about that much. So, 
So with that being said, being said, with it hanging off by by that much, we we really need to get some stuff set up so that way it's not hanging off like that. So what we have over here in my closet, what I have over here in my closet is the actual is the actual Xbox. And I guess we also have the also have the headset stuff over here too, but but we don't want the headset and it and everything. We just want I think think all we really need is this box. Ah, the box sits up just a slightly too high. <laughs> <laughs> Just sits up slightly too high. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we could do. This is kind of like rigging up, rigging up your game console. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I have this little Turtle Beach headset thing. I don't know if this Turtle Beach headset thing will, will work or not, but all right. And that's just slightly too short. So we have a slightly too short and a slightly too tall. Um. Now, I could, we could do something like this, maybe put the Turtle Beach headset, we, we may be able to put the turtle, see that raises it up, raises it up almost, just, almost, just tall enough to be able to do something like that. Unfortunately, it's just, unfortunately, it's just slightly too uh, short. Um, now if I could get some stuff under that box, get, get a couple things up underneath the box. Um, this is pretty empty, um, pretty empty closet closet here um i do got this this which is actually the turtle beach turtle beach uh that it goes in actually that's gonna bring it up way too high um <laughs> I mean, this will give it a little bit more support. I know it's only pl I know it's only plastic, but that does give us a little bit more support as far as as far as making sure it's a little bit more stable. Cause that that Xbox box is, I guess, so somewhat heavy. I mean, it's not he heavy, heavy, but it's somewhat heavy. So. As you guys can see, see over here, we're just slightly off, and I don't really have too many. Th don't really have too many things that we can really use. Um. That's really gonna work. Um. I mean, I've got I mean, we've got these We've got these um 
their GTA. Their um, GTA. Um, things here, as you guys, as you guys can see. So, I'm thinking that's what we're gonna. I'm thinking that's what we're gonna have to use to mount this guy up just slightly so that way we're just slightly so we're tall enough because it's originally it really originally sits like that so so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we'll put this one here and then we're going to put this one here they're gta 5 games when i GTA 5 uh, games when we had it. Oh, we're still slightly off. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. We're still slightly off. Okay. And these are going to have to go this way because they don't brace. Because they don't brace our thing up tall enough. Okay. I mean, we can wedge this up underneath, and then when we go to sit it down, just sit it on this. We just need to make sure that this here. To make sure this here isn't going to go anywhere. And I do have another cable. So we can always put another cable up over there. And yeah. So that actually does kind of work. Um, I mean I'll still stick another one up over there. But you guys could kind of do this. So, we've got electronics all the way across our whole thing. You have the Xbox One X here. So, Xbox One X sits here under our uh, somewhat mount mounted jer jerry-rigged uh, thing here. And then we move over here. We have all of this open space. So, you put like your open space for your controllers, which, we, which we're going to go ahead and plug this in so we can turn it on. Oh, oh hold on. Go ahead and plug this in so we can turn it on. Okay. And like I said, I pulled it as close to the front that I could. So that way, because the vents are here here in the back. Um, um, so that way I got enough room. I could pull it up front, but I want to have all that... Most of that support stuff. Most of the support stuff I want to have in the back. Which is is under there so i'll probably put a styrofoam over here that styrofoam that comes with the xbox i'll pro probably stick that up over there just to give us more support base um we're gonna go ahead and turn on our xbox here okay so xbox is gonna come on um i need the remote turn the remote for the tv on and you'll see that this is the X model. Ouch. As you guys can see, that is the X model. That's how, how that boots up. Um, we can go ahead and put our keyboard back up here. And if you guys have something that can go right go right here so that way when you're playing on that way when you're playing on your gaming computer or whatnot. Um I'm really picky about how, how everything's all nice and straight in and things like that. But then you got your, yeah, this is a 4K TV here. So this is 4K TV here. And then over here, which I'm not hooking up right now because it needs clean, is our gaming computer. And then that's my Xbox coming on. I think it boots up a little slow, boots up a little slow, but that could be just 
just te temporary because I'm using a mobile hotspot. But I am on a mobile hotspot, as you guys can see, that did turn on. Normally when you unplug it, it doesn't connect. Normally if you unplug the console and then plug it back in, it normally doesn't actually connect to the internet. So that part was actually kind of nice. So here's the Xbox One X, guys. Put a start. I'm going to put a styrofoam there eventually just so that way it gives it more support. Um, and you got your basic controller. Kind of wish with the X, X model they would have changed up some these padding these padding things. I think they might they might have done it but they still seem like they could have been been a little bit better than what they were. Um but anyway, here's your Xbox. And the X model it, it's all right. Unfortunately, not many games support the X model because Microsoft and Sony don't push the company. They left it up to the company. And the thing that I don't understand about Microsoft and Sony having these new 4K systems is why leave it up to the um, developers? Like they like they went out and they built these systems. For 4K and HDR, but if we don't have, if we got very little content for it, what makes the point of us going out and buying the consoles in the first place? You know, that's my whole thing because, you know, $500, $530, you know, you got your tax and everything. It's like a medium sized ga gaming system, but the problem is, is Microsoft and, so Microsoft and Sony are leaving it up to the game developers to decide. You know, if they want to support 4K and HDR. You know, if I build a con console, I want some game. You know, a ton not just a few games, but I want a bunch of 4K HDR games. And then the ones that do have 4K and HDR, they just... I wouldn't so much say they look terrible, but they don't look the greatest. Like, um... That's the other, pro the other problem. Is the games that support 4K and HDR don't look the greatest and the fact the fact to be tr true about this one is because these games aren't truly running in 4k and um that's the main issue is a lot of these games are not actually running in true 4k so um that's one of the main problems is you got both microsoft and sony both going out saying they're for or they're con their consoles, both through Microsoft and Sony, say they can both run 4K. But the games that are supposed to be running in 4K, are, are some of them are only running 1440p. Some games run 1440p. Other games can run, I don't know, get, I don't know, give or take uh, 1,780 out of 2160. Now, 2160 is actually 4K. So that's the main problem here. Now... Unless that's the case of the consoles or they're just not able to optimize their games, you know, correctly. You know, it could be that the consoles still don't have the exact amount of power and resources. Or they're just not developing the games correctly. Or it could be a little bit of, a little bit of both. But um, just talking a little bit about 4K, that's a GTX 1080 that's in... In that computer right there. And I have trouble. If I want to run a 4K game. I get about 25 to 30 FPS. Other games are worse than that. So even on a GTX 1070. It still seems to really bottleneck. How much graphics processing power you actually need. So NVIDIA. If you come across this vi NVIDIA, if you come across this video, your GTX 1070, I'm assuming even the GTX 10, even the GTX 1080 probably runs into these bottleneck issues, to where you're only doing 25 to 30 FPS. Other games are way lower than that. That makes it very hard to play a game in 4K. Okay. Now, you know maybe it's your, you know. Intel pro Intel processors or you know depending on which, which one of those you have but everything's all AMD and everything in the Xbox one um, X model I don't to be all be all honest I don't like AMD they're really really bad and I'd rather have an Intel console any day so Microsoft if you're listening 
Maybe one of these days you'll build an Intel. And I think Microsoft, I don't know if this was tr true or not, but I think Microsoft did say something about at one time they were actually going to build a Intel um, console at one time. Um, but it was too it was too expensive or or that that or in, Intel didn't want to build a custom processor for them. I'm not sh too for sure. I just remember hearing something down that line. Like I said, I don't know. Don't know if it's true or not, but um, that would a uh, that would be really cool if it ever if it ever was, just because of the whole idea about that. But this is my setup here, guys. Um, I think it looks really good. I actually think this setup looks really good. Um, but I do plan on getting an actual internet company because unfortunately, it's connected to the internet as you guys can see. But with mo mobile hotspot, a lot of my problems is I'm con constantly having to re go back in there and reconnect it. And then a lot of times you got to sit there five ten five ten minutes messing around with it. Um, and I think that's because cell phone providers block ports so it's probably the ports it, that it doesn't um like but um this gives you guys an idea guy guys just kind of go ahead and try try out something like this you know maybe i'll try and add a fan 